we have a midweek treat for you today. That's right. We're talking chocolate. Christina Tetro is live at Rafael Chocolate in Fresno with uh, showing us what exactly they do there. Hey there. Oh, yeah. Now, we have a lot of treats for you this morning. I just really quickly want you to take a look at what is spinning right here. We are getting ready to actually make one of the Raffio chocolate chocolate bars, and it's called... It's called bean to bar, meaning this is pretty much pure chocolate that's going right in there. So we're here at Raffaele's Chocolate off of Barstow, and the whole point of this, like we said, is that bean to bar, really having that pure dark chocolate. Earlier in the live shots, we showed you guys how they roasted the beans and then how they started mixing the mix. Now we're showing you how they mold them and how they have that signature look. Miss Elisa, I want to know, we're putting this over here. Ooh. So, what is this process that we just saw you do? Yes, um, so in order to produce very shiny, snappy, and very nice textured chocolate, we have to temper the chocolate. Okay. So, uh, this is a tempering and molding process, and after um, this is, is molded here, we're going to cool it, and then once the chocolate bar are set, we can um, unmold, uh, which Ooh. is, and then we go to packaging from here. Right. And now, actually, between the process of what we just saw yes. and then taking it out of the mold, do you have to freeze it at all, or is it like room temperature? How does that work? Uh, we, no, we do not have to freeze it. Uh, so in tempering, this tempering room, uh, it actually, we have to keep it between 65 degree and 70 degree. Okay. So that's cool enough um, for the chocolate to temper. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, earlier in the process, we saw how everything was mixed, and I thought it was so impressive. The way that you guys mix the chocolate, it is just the bean mm -hmm. for X amount of time, and then you only add its cane sugar, right? Yeah, so we only add um, a, a touch of organic cacao butter and also organic um, cane sugar. And yeah. how long does that chocolate mix in order to have that creamy t uh, texture? Yes. So when we put it in a stone grinder, it's called a melanger. We grind it for about three days. Uh, it does two things. First, to grind it <coughs> friction on friction uh, um, stone. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also another process called conching, where we actually have to air out the chocolate. Yeah. I, it, there are all these processes that I don't think people realize go into right. how you actually get a chocolate bar to go from the bean to the actual mold exactly. and then but this one I feel like is probably one of the fun rooms because you get to see the finished product exactly so <clears throat> this is the last step now <clears throat> before it's packaged and then um, sold to customers yes I love it. and this is your signature look and signature texture right yes awesome. <laughs> so you guys make sure to go ahead and stay with us because we're gonna be looking at some of their finished and final products over in their retail space here at Raffio's chocolate and uh, Joe Lauren, not to excite you guys, we could be eating some chocolate. Uh, I'm down it's for that. It's so tempting. Dark chocolate Very jealous. sounds good. Yes. All right, we appreciate it. If only it. you guys knew what it smelled like in here. Oh, I'm it's, sure it smells great. It yeah. smells so fantastic. Our stomachs would be growling yeah. even more. George likes walking it. Walking in the newsroom smelling like chocolate. All right, thanks. Christina, have you, have you had the Raphael chocolate? I haven't. I need to. It looks I fantastic. I think you have. Because remember uh, it was the Fulton Street party? We went to their little shop. You didn't did have any Did we eat chocolate? I don't know. No? Maybe I did. <laughs> It's good. If you haven't had it, it's good. <laughs>